Welcome back, generals, uh, to Total War Arena, where I will um, be looking once again at the at the auxiliary cavalry, the premium auxiliary cavalry that I bought. Um, I've been um, having a bit of a uh, problem playing with these guys, getting down the um, the um, playing style. It's slowly creeping in on uh, exactly um, how I need, at least for me, to play um, this cavalry and win battles. As you can see over here, I've been playing a lot of, um, of uh, cavalry. And when you look at my ca uh, ca commanders, there's Scipio and uh, his, his victory rate isn't so good. So I've, I've, I've lost a bunch of battles trying to figure out how to play this guy and I think I'm slowly um, getting to the point where I understand um, what I've got to do to to win so I'm gonna go through a couple videos here replays okay, and as you can see lots of this is these were there's a lot of um, capping games here where we lost due to cap but also because of uh, poor play on my part and I'm going to take a look first at um, at this battle. Teutoburg Forest. I probably said that wrong. I love the replay um, function on this game. It's just absolutely uh, fantastic. Go back and watch your watch your uh, game. See what went wrong. Watch other people. See how they did things better. It's real uh, interesting and uh, uh, great feature. I wish more games had this. Okay, so as you can see, I am way back here. I put myself way back here in the back. And what I'm, what I'm starting to figure out is that these guys are, are real good at supporting your army. Not as a spear tip. You see these, see we have cavalry going out here and you know in the ancient times the cavalry were usually on the wings and they would um, there would be cavalry clash on the wings but these guys I uh, you know I am having more success at supporting the, um, the battle once the battle gets going now here here you see a large part see a battle starting up here these our guys are coming out their guys are now retreating so okay so I'm looking around trying to figure where can I influence the battle because I have speed and I can get places quickly. I also have to bear in mind that you've got an, if, as cavalry you've got a lot, of, um, a lot of responsibilities, not just to help your infantry, not just to support your cavalry, but to, to watch over your base because you're the one who can get back there fast and also capping. So I'm, now I'm looking over here and I'm seeing this battle, okay, and um, and I'm thinking, hey, this is this is where we can um, influence the battle, and so off I go. Okay, and now you see um, enemy cavalry coming through. Notice how they classify for you: medium threat. Look at this guy, high threat, which means do not charge this guy in the face. So I'm coming in here. The thing is, if we can crush this group here, we'll release all these guys into the main battle. But now I've got to watch over. I've got to watch this cavalry. Because they can get behind doing just the kind of thing that I'm wanting to do. So I, here, we do, here we go. And instead of keeping moving my... my people forward. See, I'm trying there, but then I stop. I should keep moving them. I stop, and then I say, charge! Okay, that's really poor technique. I need to get much better on that. Watch how he just crashes into the, the mountain there and does himself a lot of injury from nothing. Okay, so with that, I'm wondering, should I go after him? But I turn around and look what's behind me. Okay, I've got other cavalry coming in behind me. I finally figure that out. I turn around. And 
And now, after my go, notice we've got our artillery over here. We've got cavalry coming in at the artillery. But instead, I once again decide I need to I need to influence this battle because we're going to lose this battle unless I unless I can get myself in a position to 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 change what's going on here. So in I go. Charge in. In we go, charging in in. Notice all, notice all that damage that's coming from behind. See their morale is just dropping like crazy because they're being attacked from behind. I routed that unit there. This guy's morale is going down big time. I've used the kick. Lots of, doing lots of damage here now. This guy's just doing just lots of damage. He's lost his morale. He's gonna try to run. And I don't have to chase him because he's a little damage. He's not turning back on these guys. Yes, I know we've got cavalry problems over here, but I need I really want to just crush this group here. Pull these guys out. I try a, a charge, but it's not enough to the flank. I get a left flank, but could have been better, better charge, I think. Once again, I'm pulling my guys out, trying to get a charge. Come in. Now, now I. Uh, that guy's morale just went down. This guy's morale. Notice how he's just the morale just collapses when you attack them from the rear, and he's gone. So off I go. Their cavalry is up there trying to harass our artillery. This guy's been really good at um, at defending. And I'm after his cavalry. Now, for some inexplicable reason, I don't know why War Chief here was War Chief. I'm not sure where this guy is. When I turn into this guy, he's just sitting in there. And he's not moving, so I just charge right into him. And watch, charge. And watch the damage. Just incredible amount of damage. I just nuked him and then eliminate him. So, the threat, I believe, to our own line, to our own base, has now been just totally um, wiped out. And I'm looking at things and saying, well, we got enough guys back here anyway to to watch over our base if necessary, so I, off I go. And now I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to their um, base and try to help them out. So I'm gonna, where are those, where are the catapults coming at? Well, okay, so I, well, I'm going to increase the speed a bit here. So I'm get myself over there. So this guy is trying to... Uh, okay. Here I come, so I'm going to slow it down. Now, watch this charge. Oh, boy, he does me great, a great amount of damage. But that's because he is spear cavalry. He's shock cavalry. That's exactly what they're made for. Okay, and I lose one of my units. And we have a big scrum going on here. But really, that's not what um, shock cavalry is good at. So, <clears throat> fighting is good for me. If he wants to stay in a fight, uh, that's good for me. We've, you know, it... Here we go again. Again, he does a good charge on me. I get I get pretty good uh, results as well. I'm piling in. Shoot. 
should have probably used my kick. It's three against two. So I pulled this guy out. I tried to get a charge in on him. And that causes a bunch of damage. Okay. He uses his hammer, which is to slow my slow my um, movement, but instead I'm on him. He got involved in a melee, which this this his kind of cavalry are just not good at. Shock cavalry, you need to charge and then get out as quickly as possible. So he makes a big mistake here by fighting me hand to hand, close up, and he gets punished for it. So coming in, it's not pretty obvious you're gonna win. They're trying to keep us from base capturing, but we've got so many troops. It's pretty obvious that uh, we're gonna win this. Okay. Cavalry here, again, he does a nice strike here, but I'm able to just crunch him. Look at that, just eliminated him. Once again, another nice charge <clears throat> by the other guy, but he's down pretty low now. And I'm gonna go in, get a flank on him. His, there goes his, look at, look, at his, look at his morale, and he's done for. Okay, so. You know, wrapping up the battle, I see these guys rushing in, and I'm just going to pause right now, and uh, the battle is just about finished, and let's see um, how I fared generally in this, okay? Uh, it's pretty obvious that we have won the battle um, by a significant margin. How well I, do, I, I, I um, uh, contributed to that, I, you know, it's hard to tell. I, I had uh, I, I routed eight units, I eliminated seven units, and I nuked one unit. And when we look at the score, okay, I am the highest in aggression by far than anybody else. So, um, I, th I, I'm starting to see this that when I when I can get my guys in there and be really aggressive, but in a way in which it supports my army and it um, helps to eliminate units that it has a, uh, a very positive effect on how the uh, game result ends. So with that said, let's just finish up the uh, video here. Okay, I'm after these guys here. These guys, the, the artillery guys, are, they they have no protection really against armored um, infantry. And you notice I route him once again another route, and they just have the one one unit remaining, seven seven guys. in a base capture all right so once again I am not the highest guy but um, the important thing is that we won and really that's 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 a big important reason why I, I play these kinds of games is I want to win I want to win and the question is how do I play in which I can um, really help the team to win all right so I'm gonna take a second look I'm going to take another look at another um, replay. This one is uh, Thermopylae, one of the few of these um, ancient names that I can say properly, I believe. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, so the first thing I do, okay, like I say, you have a lot of responsibilities with the cavalry, but when I look at my side, we've got two units of artillery. So what that means is that and these guys are back here, there they are, and they're setting up, okay, 
assembling their their war engines okay so I'm gonna just I just go out there right away and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spot their troops that's that's all I'm doing is I'm just going to spot their troops okay and the next thing you know in comes the in comes the catapults okay the boulders all right a yo you know and look at how much damage that guy took I have to be careful because these guys uh, like Pila took some damage there but still doing a massive amount of damage here and you can and you can and you can see that look here right there this is support points and I'm getting these points because I am spotting for my artillery okay and you can see the artillery guys they're getting their 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 points are piling up from uh, from uh, wiping out um, the enemy troops so as I said as a cavalry when you play cavalrymen you have a number of different um, responsibilities one of them um, is scouting all right so let's continue this okay so once again they're just getting hammered there see our infantry is coming up okay I'm still hanging out there I got a lot tons of infantry here and then I see their cavalry okay now this cavalry if you look closely okay those are those are Alexander the Great's cavalry so they are spear cavalry shock cavalry they will want to charge you and uh, and uh, can do a lot of uh, damage if they just charge me right in the face but boom there look at look at how much damage they take from from uh, those those artillery pieces and now they do a rapid advance to get the heck out of there but I'm afraid that they're trying to get into our rear so I am I am off off to the races on these guys I did a charge and I catch up on these guys here get them involved this guy's flanking me but I've got him involved in a in a melee which is what my infantry my cavalry are made to do his cavalry is not that is not what his cavalry is for charge in here and I route that one unit and kill it also nuking uh, also killing the uh, leader of that cavalry so boom just like that have eliminated um, three three units so as always I'm trying to hover around in the center where the battle is being fought where can I actually where can I actually make a difference okay and now I'm thinking maybe trying to get back here I'm seeing this going on over here all right and this is important because these guys these cavalry they're chasing chasing uh, uh, archers who aren't going to be able to stop them once again they're charge cavalry uh, shock cavalry and then they're going to be able to attack our artillery so I need to get in there and stop this protect my protect my um, my artillery they can also go in there and cap our base not a big problem at this point and note how they're still taking they take huge huge casualties from the, from the um, from the catapult but they're in on them and I gotta stop that so here we go charging in he tries the cavalry charge to get out okay to get away faster eliminate one unit and now once again get him into I get him into uh, melee and I'm just doing a huge amount of damage to him pull this guy out and there we go and so he's 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 destroyed whoa I see these infantry I these are heavy infantry I kind of don't want to get involved with them but they're severely damaged side okay let's try to go in there and finish these guys off 
Alright. And in goes the charge. Boom. Lots of damage. Lots of damage there. Although he gets an ambush on me. You notice? He's got a flank on me. This guy's almost... One of my guys are almost out of uh, morale. They're out of morale. If I leave him in combat, they're going to they're gonna die fast. So I have to pull out. Pull out very quickly. See, even very few, very few heavy um, infantry will have a big impact on your cavalry. The, the, um, they're able to... Uh, they're just, you just do not want to, to mess with them unless you can attack them from the rear. So I'm still after these guys because they're, they're pretty low in, in health. My, uh, my third unit here is regaining health quickly. I have charge option ready. He's getting his health. So it's back to this guy. Back to these guys. Okay, and as you can see, they're being opposed by um, these spearmen. Okay, they're trying to get around the spearmen. And now, now he uses one to bait and he attacks from the back here. Which is cool unless you have a whole mob of, uh, of cavalry who come and attack you from the rear. And that's what I'm going to do. So we charge in. Okay, and now what I try to do is I try to pull my guys actually through the mob, and as they go through, they, they do damage and, and um, wipe folks out at the same time. So I, these guys are, are gone. So it's very high uh, around, but it's dropping. So, so now I go, okay, come on, push through these guys and route and wipe out, okay? Now, once again, I'm trying to figure out where can I be of help? And I see all these guys are coming over here. And, but I charge into, into this, this fray here and I get a lot of um, uh, damage to myself because our guys were um, hoplites. And so that probably wasn't the greatest idea to just charge those spears straight on. So instead, now I'm looking once again at where can I put, get, get my, um, uh, assist my my army the best I can against um, troops who are vulnerable to me. And if you know, you probably didn't notice here. I'm going to just back this up. I wonder if I can back this up. Can I back this up? I don't think I can back this up. But there was a, I saw artillery way over here by their base, right in this area over here. So I'm going to go over here. Okay. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, and here I come. As I come around the corner, look what I see. Okay, whoa. Okay, we got legionaries over here. Don't want to mess with those guys. So I run away. And there's the guys that I want. This is the guy I want. I'm looking at the situation because we also have a whole bunch of um, uh, archers over here. So where, where to make the, where to make the real impact? And you notice, I took. Look, I'm taking huge damage from this guy as he hits me with the catapult. I've got this um, spear unit in front of me, so I split this guy off, and I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Okay as I run through the, through them, but in the end, I get a left flank and that's the end for him. So now it's charge the, charge that artillery. Okay. Got a left flank on him. Use my kick. His morale is dropping like a stone. He's routed. 
I execute his commander and finally eliminate him. And here comes, whoa, here comes those spears again. So now I remembered those, I remembered those archers over there. So now it's off to the archers, okay? And as I come, the archers see me and they know that if they come down here and I charge into them, then they're gone. So what they do is they try to go up to the mountain to attack our, our artillery, okay? And what I'm going to do is I want to go up there and I want to try to slaughter these um, archers. Notice all the, this guy here, he's lobbing stones in there as well. And they're, and they're taking a lot of hits, okay? But they're in the forest, so it's harder for them to figure out where they are. So here I come. Whenever you see yellow, it means friendly fire. So I charge this guy. And you see all that yellow? That came from all the boulders. You know, here comes more boulders. More damage from my own um, um, artillery. But I'm on top of this guy. Take more damage, but it doesn't matter. I routed one. I'm, now I'm on top of them. These guys are going to die. Okay, have them in have them in a, in a melee, and they just can't fight me. This is where the melee melee infantry melee cavalry really makes their 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 bread and butter is getting those non-armored troops and just thrashing them. Okay, so I'm going to stop right now. Just take a look over here what I've got. Okay, so I've got 11 units routed, 10 units eliminated, and I've killed two enemy commanders. <clears throat> Remember that when you kill an enemy commander, which is in your first first unit, <clears throat> everybody, all the all the units suffer a morale a morale um, penalty. And actually, let me see, let me see here if I can take a look here. I don't know, let's see if I can get in here. Where is this guy? Okay. Okay. There you see, there he is. There he is, my commander. There's Scipio, okay? So he's in there, and he can die at any moment. All right, um, let's take a look at the scoreboard. So I'm doing really good, once again, in aggression, all right? And I and once again, I, I can't help but feel that, that the way this game is going is really helping out my team. Um, learning how to use your your troops to help your team um, the most, I think, is is really a part of a cooperative multiplayer experience. And um, while I know a lot of folks, the only thing they can really think about is you know how how great they are and um, how many how with their kill death ratio and all this other kind of stuff is my where I play games is from um, do we win and what do I need to do to make that happen so um, knowing how to play your troops is very important and, and and now I'm coming back over here I see this guy over here actually the um, the artillery unit up here he he's he he brought my attention to these guys because these guys, these guys, they're going to come up here to attack, attack um, the artillery gun. These are javelin men, so as you can see, they are low threat. They don't have a lot of armor. These are perfect for, for, um, for melee cavalry to attack. And so I'm up and after him. As you can see in general, we're slowly just tearing them apart. So 
I come up here, and there he is. And in goes the charge, and huge amount of damage done to that guy, as you can see from the charge. You can see those um, light, light um, blue numbers. Those are damage hits. Okay, I'm just, I just rubbed that guy out, and now I'll go to finish him here. He, th he gets a, uh, a jab and throw off on me, but this guy is, he's done, okay? Again, watch as he's, his morale seems to be okay. My men are pretty much down now. I'm pretty low on, um, in health. But I'm determined that, I, that this guy is going to die. Okay, so I'm going to stop again. And <clears throat> this is the game is just now just about over. Um, what do we got over here? So I have 12 units routed, 12 units eliminated, 3 enemy commanders executed, 1 unit nuked. And I decapped, or de what, what they call decapped here, defended our base from capture. So th I, I think I've had a really good round here. And uh, once again, remember how, how I, what kinds of troops I'm attacking. And notice um, very little um, in, in infantry battles going in here. It's mostly um, what I'm doing to, to, um, um, assist my own army and in this case um, two attacks one of the archers coming up here and then the javelin men coming up here to keep these um, artillerymen safe so that that's pretty much let's see let's see how I'm fair here so once again I'm not the highest okay I'm not number one but I've got a large um, amount of um, aggression and um, I mean nobody has that amount of aggression all right I won't end up number one but I can't help but believe that what I did made a really big difference in this game so let's go ahead and finish it You know, there's lots of folks who are just really good at gaming, and um, and this stuff is a lot easier for them to pick up and learn. I'm a little bit more of a senior citizen, and these kinds of things are are not so much. The time is going to run out, and so I have to work harder. But there you go. And as I said, I'm not number one. But I did uh, fairly well, I think, in that game and um, influenced the game so that we won. And I think for players when they play, you know, I don't, I don't believe you have to be the greatest um, player around. We all love to watch videos of really good players. But I think what the most important thing in a multiplayer setting is is. Um, actually um, understanding the role of the units that you're playing and playing those units in that role to um, be a, a, a part of a bigger whole and hopefully um, the better you can uh, play your role the more likely it is that your army will win so um, that's uh, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the two games and um, I will see you later.